The European Digital Women Diversity Charter launch attendees. It is my pleasure to address you on this important issue of promoting women in the world of IT. We all know that the gender gap is especially big in the digital field and thus initiatives like the Diverse IT Charter are essential to bridge the gap. In the European Parliament, in particular within the Committee on Gender Equality and Women's Rights, of which I am the chair, we have addressed the many challenges but also chances that digitalization is bringing. One of the first steps in bridging the gap is addressing the underlying stereotypes which often influence girls and boys from a very young age in the decisions. A very common example would be that girls are bad in math or do not like playing video games. Both stereotypes that are entirely wrong when looking at the data we have. Second, the lack in supporting girls and women in their IT career paths lead to the number of less than 20% of women in technology and digital professions across Europe. The good news is we can do something about this. For that, we need roadmaps like the European Digital Women Diverse IT Charter presented today and IT associations as multipliers to step up their game in empowering women and help companies as well as educational services to do the same. We need to change the culture in IT to make the field more attractive for girls and for women because we know for sure boys and girls are equally talented. It is the lack of inclusion and diversity that is holding them back and especially the cyber violence they are facing from a young age onwards. Most women have experienced online harassment and girls interested in gaming are regularly bullied and threatened. The images and uh, the lack of women in the digital world is systematic and can be seen uh, uh, blatantly in the gaming world. Erasing female characters has a long history in games, but also in real life. Many women have significantly contributed to the development of technologies, yet their names are often forgotten or actively barred out. Let us remember Ada Lovelace, who is considered to be the world's first computer programmer in the mid-1800s, so over 150 years ago. Let us remember Grace Hopper, the Queen of Code, crucial to the invention of coding in the 1940s. Let us remember Dorothy Vaughan and Katherine Johnson, recently honored by the movie Hidden Figures, who calculated the orbital trajectories of the first space flight in the 1960s. And let us remember Hedy Lamar, the Viennese Hedy Lamar, without whose inventions we would not have GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Let us remember all those thousands of women who came after them and let us actively support all the women who will uh, become the future women in tech leading the way. Without women, we would be far from the world we are living in. So we have to make sure uh, that at the end of the day, women in tech are as normal as women in the workforce in general. So, thank you.